we had a headshot attempt there. By Mexico, Manjares. Hopefully you can hear me now, okay? So just to, uh, we've got a little combination there by the Mexicans, fell to the floor, she gets the Congo, which is a warning. Two warnings will result in a point being awarded to your opponent. The match underway now, you can see there the athletes on the field of play with a large monitor behind them, so we've got double the action. Now, I'm not sure if you could hear me before, but we've actually got a new dado system in place again from the PS system. Head, that's a headshot there, the attempt by Mexico. And this system's been developed to make the um, scoring requirements to be more powerful, more accurate. So we've seen lower scoring matches as the front leg kicks have not been scoring as much as we've seen in the previous Grand Prix matches. So, nil nil. Into the first. Well into the first round. A headshot there by Mexico. She's a quick time to to appeal. So this is the first video replay that we have. So they're appealing for a headshot. Now with the when we say headshot, we mean specifically a face shot because the PSS head guards score kicks to the head. However, obviously there's no padding over the face there. You can see the Video replay reveal review judges. Barbara Marion from Canada, and she's assisted by Daniel from Lebanon and Thomas Bosser, the technician. There's a the headshot. She's quite happy it was in there. As they see from a different angle, it does seem to make contact to the face. And as usual, I'd just like to remind you that the imagery that we have is not the same as what the um, IVR judges have, so what looks like a clear cut point to us might not seem the same to them. Again, they have the advantage of several different camera angles that we'll check. So, as you can see, we've got, the front, we've got three monitors there, possibly four, and they're looking at it from different angles. And if they accept it, they will signal and also communicate with the centre referee. Different angle of changing through. I'm not sure there if the players can actually see the so it's rejected, so they're saying there was no headshot. It looked like it was to us, but not to the video review judges. So the score remains 0 0. Put beneath by the French player. to find the openings. Both players getting the measure of their opponents off the front leg. Nice headshot attempt again by Isil Mangeras of Mexico. The flash of the front leg and it's not going to score for them with the system as it is, so they need to sort of start coming off that back leg. That's the end of the first round, no point score. Plenty of action. Corner just to go through the scoring systems. If you are scoring tennis, a kick to the body or a push to the body will score one point. A kick to the head is worth three points. If a kick to the body involves a rotation or a spin, it will be worth three points, and a rotating kick to the head is worth four points. We've seen a lot of points scored in earlier matches today by headshots. As our police are trying to adjust to the new PSS. System which is much harder to score the body, or it appears that way. Most of the matches have been lower scoring. So, this is the semi final, the first semi final in the minus 49 kilogram division. We saw the gold medalist here from last year, Lucia Zaninovic, has gone out to the quarter finals. 
Yasmina Aziz from France got bronze here last year at the Grand Prix Finals, which has been her best Grand Prix result. The silver medalist last year was Bridget Ye from Spain, who's announced her retirement last month from Taekwondo competition. So we will just see some different medalists at this event. But Yasmina Aziz looking to go better than she did at the Grand Prix final last year. And she's up against the home favorite, Isil Mangeras from Mexico. No point scored as yet. In this first semi-final. The following match after this will be Panipak Wampatinikit from Thailand. And she'll be up against the legend that is Jingwu Yu of China. So like I said, Mutika Zaninovic, number one seed, is out of this competition. So we'll see a new Grand Prix Finals champion. Plenty of action this first round, first match. No points being scored as yet. A little bit of leg clashing going on, but that's to be expected. As they're just checking the score there, and she takes the first point. Yeah. Mexican goes high again with the hook kick to the head. Nearer to the face, but again, not quite in range. You do think that if she carries on with those sort of attacks, that she will find a way through. So KG match, just one point of difference so far. As he has from France will be quite happy with that. Jose Mayweather looking quite comfortable. So this is the first Grand Prix that we've seen Manjares from Mexico take part in. So I think this is a little bit of an unknown entity for us, but she's, uh, there you can see the headshots that she's been attempting. That was the one at the end of the match. So she's been going through that a few times and better than the field. That was the point that Aziz scored, which was a check into the body. here in, in Mexico City with high altitude and we have seen that affect some of the uh, athletes a little bit in the qualifying round. Obviously not a problem for Manjaras. So as he has will have to be careful, one point difference is not enough in the last round. So she will be cautious, she'll try and protect that lead, but she will look to be adding to it as well. Players looking quite fresh. The check there by Azia to go high, goes for the back kick, but the Mexican just smothered it in effect. But in that exchange, there was a point scored. Small square at 1 1. We have seen some matches go to Golden Point in the quarterfinals. Possibility of this game. As he's trying to get the measure of her opponent there. Majerus goes high again. She's not getting that range right yet. She's running out of time. As he tries to axe kick down, it's well short. Coming into the last 20 seconds now. Can somebody steal a point at this last point in the game? In the event of a tied score after three rounds, we go to a golden point round where the first player to score wins. 
and then in the event that there's no score then the first consideration for superiority is the one who's made most impact and this is our first match and our first golden point semi-final there you can see that manjer has got that Kyongo that will be discounted now as we go into the golden point round so we start square 0-0 zero, zero with no Kyongos there's a back kick attempt by Aziaz there's a head shot he's just fallen short he didn't manage to get the measure of it back on from the French girl and she's making way back to the court so first point to score wins in the event of a tied score or no points being scored should I say then it's good on superiority quick check there by Aziaz that might have been enough to score with the older scoring systems the two protectors good tight defense there by the French girl cuts into the body off the back leg and scores and that's it, that's the deciding point. Aziaz goes one better than she did in the finals last year. Bronze medalist in the final last year now gets earns her place on Golden Point to the final match. And she will be up against Panipak Mompatanikid from Thailand or Wu Jingyu from China, which will be our next match. She can see there she's quite emotional about that. It is a great result for her. She's not really performed as as well as she's capable of in the last Grand Prix, in, the, in the fact, in the entire Grand Prix series this year. So this is a great result for her. You can see she's clearly delighted as is a coach. So confirmation there, Yasmina.